few people at work have been asking me to do a video at the backyard. Uh, I just want to do a quick video, kind of show the work that I've been doing back here. Um, as you can see, most of the area is cleared. It was actually covered by these tall pine trees um, just a few months back. There were 13 of the tall pine trees that were removed, and we personally removed about 20 to 30 of the smaller trees um, that were about the size, of anywhere from between the size of this oak and the size of the tulip tree here. Uh, we did leave those two trees to, to um, give us something left in the yard and we also planted a bunch of trees around. Um, I've put some grass seed down about a couple months ago and it seems to be coming in fairly well. Um, as you can see <coughs> the area here closer to the deck is actually uh, the existing grass that was here and then you can see the line there where it's going out into the where I put the grass seed down. A little shed back here that was left by the previous owner. Um, they would actually used it as kind of a playhouse for their two daughters, but we've turned it into a little garden shed. We have the deck here. The deck uh, didn't do a whole lot of work. We just uh, we cleaned it and then put a uh, new coat of sealer on there. You can actually see this just rained and everything seems to be doing quite well. Um, all these beds were actually new. None of these beds were here before we got here. Uh, we planted a tea olive there on the left and there's a Japanese um, flowering cherry there on the right. Also planted some bulbs down here beside the uh, crawl space entry. Uh, they're starting to come up there. There's a couple tiger lilies. Uh, we got a forsythia here, a large forsythia we're planted here next to the uh, deck. Um, <coughs> that'll come up in the spring. Big bright yellow blooms. Around on the other side, uh, once again, the, all these beds are brand new. But that's a gardenia that we planted here. Um, that should be blooming here in probably the next couple of weeks. Over here in the garden, we, uh, we're trying this out in this area, but um, I'm not sure if we're going to get enough sun, but it looks like it's doing fairly well so far. Um, got a few tomato plants, some eggplant, uh, some squash, and a few different things in there. We're going to give that a try and see how it goes. Um, in the tulip tree bed, we've actually got quite a few different bulbs in here. Uh, nothing seems to be popping up just yet except for a couple of the remaining stumps that were left in there. Um, have sprouted some new trees, but, um, but hopefully we'll see some flower bulbs here in a little bit. Got a one remaining uh, tree back there that we did leave. I'm going to try to see if it maybe fills out a little bit. Not sure if it will. If it doesn't here in the next few months, I'll probably go ahead and remove it as well. Um, up against the fence, we actually have privet that will cover this whole area of the fence. Um, that is the neighbor's fence. Um, and then on this side, we actually have three mock orange trees that we're going to be planting here in the next several months. There's a view back towards the house again. And as you go down the uh, front of the deck, here we've planted a clematis vine. Um, it's starting to do very, fairly well and we're starting to see some actual flowers coming up out on it. Got another smaller gardenia here. There's another wife creation there with uh, some eggplants. Um, they seem to be doing quite well. Got a climbing rose here that we planted. Um, it doesn't seem to be doing as well. We may be uh, removing that and replacing that before too long. Another gardenia bush there. And then another rose that's not doing that well either. Here we have a Carolina jasmine. The jasmine's actually blooming quite nicely already. Um, and it's had a lot of growth already in the, in the last few months. Um, the smell from the actual jasmine is very nice and it fills the entire yard right now. Over here on the side, a couple more uh, nice smelling uh, bushes here, or lilac. And we have some sweet william there planted. And back behind there you can see some sprouts. Those sprouts are actually a wildflower mix that will cover this whole corner. The uh, wildflower mix is uh, geared towards uh, butterflies and hummingbirds, so it should be quite nice here in a few months. Got a couple junipers we planted right up under the uh, window here. Hopefully it will fill out that area within the next few years. And on the side here we have a uh, butterfly bush. It's actually a 4th of July butterfly bush, which means it has three different types of blooms. Um, they're pretty close to red, white, and blue is why they call it the 4th of July. So that should get about 5 foot by 5 foot and fill that area in nicely in the next few years as well. Over here is a trellis that we've uh, 
we put in for some of the wife's Asian uh, vine vegetables. Uh, we got some bitter melon and some um, sayote there in the middle planted. Those seem to be doing quite well. They've been out here a few, few weeks and are already taken off. Here's another bed that we've created. This tree here was already here when we got here. I think it's just a type of arbor variety. Um, hopefully it'll stop growing here before too long. I think the height is about where we want it. Got some Indian hawthorn that we just planted out here. Hopefully that'll mound up nicely and fill in this area. Um, I expect to actually bring it out a little bit if it continues to fill in. Um, hopefully fill in this whole area into an angle. Um, behind that, I'm not sure what the name of the shrub is. Um, it's got kind of an odd name, but it matches the shrubs up front, so I thought it'd be nice to bring that around to the back. And here we have some uh, lantana that we planted. Um, that seems to be coming up quite nicely. And back in the back we actually have what will probably be the centerpiece of the yard here in the next five years or so, which is the um, it's a Thuga, or Thuja green giant tree which grows anywhere from three to five foot per year and should be, I don't know, close to uh, 25 foot or so within the next five years or so. Back in the back of the yard, or back in the back of this bed, we actually have a few of the smaller um, smaller trees that we're trying, trying out to see um, what we think of them over the next couple of years. Uh, but I've planted them back there. They pretty much look like twigs. You can't really see them right now. Uh, but they'll come up and we'll kind of evaluate them and see where we may be able to put them in the yard. And back there in the corner, there's also another butterfly bush that we uh, removed from the other location just to make room for the uh, for the new one since uh, the new one was a nicer variety. Here's the oak tree, and underneath the oak tree, we've uh, made a little bed out. We've got some growth in here that I really don't want, but we also have some uh, bulbs planted in there. And this is the back of the yard. Yard again, you'll see um, where the fence differs. To the neighbor's fence and uh, that's the area we have the privet um, all the way through um, that should come up within the next few years and hopefully fill that area in and right here i'm not sure if you can really see it but there's a new red maple that we planted and that should come up and fill this area in as well <coughs> hopefully in the next 10 years or so see our birdhouse right here we have birds all the time squirrels everything stopping by to get a little bite Got some patients on the smaller deck here. And that's about it. Uh, as you can see, the grass is coming in fairly nicely um, and matching in with the older grass. Uh, hopefully, then by the end of summer, when I get ready to aerate and put the new seed down, it'll fill, have filled in, and by next year, we should have a really nice, lush lawn.